everyone, my name is Noah and you're watching TJM Farming here on YouTube. Now, before this video begins, please do be sure to hit that like button and tap that red subscribe button to stay updated. If you find yourself watching more than one video on the channel, it helps out big time. YouTube tells me that about roughly 86% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you could do that, be very much appreciated. Right, now, on to the video. Caught it on camera too. Whoa! Swear words have been exchanged. Thankfully, Dad has a plan. We can keep going, hopefully. doing her job by holding the wire for us. Now we're gonna load it. Ready? 
take two. This time, that'll be going a little bit slower so we'll be able to keep track of it easier. tip now we gotta switch the isolator on this switch the isolator on that climb in and we'll see if we can start the slider right So this road here is um, the, the terrible 
horrible, no good, absolutely terrible loader that only works when it wants to. Yeah, as you can see, my legs are pretty big. They can't fit within the steering column, so my leg is literally jammed between those two levers there. And this thing is crawling along at, oh, God knows what speed. Uh, it does not like me. I cannot, I, I just cannot figure out how to get this loader to work right. It likes that a lot better. You can get it to go at least a little bit faster. But I have not run this thing terrible way. But the, the, this thing only has about four forward speeds. I'm not sure what speed it does in reverse, but does not like setting. It's a terrible shame that this loader is um bad because well it's got a great motor, it's got a Cummins. It's just the starter mode is a bit bleh, the factories are a bit bleh, and the gearboxes are atrocious. But when it works, it works. I guess it's job done at the very least. Oh, Dad's gonna have some words with me when when I eventually crawl into view. So I wish me luck. Right, Dad's in Kamban now. Train this. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if it gets rid of the curl. We should probably stand back. The trouble is, the camera can't exactly see very well. wire has been strained stick it in the bucket and hook it that's the loader undone I'll get this off and oh now I just gotta put the gateway in and tie it onto the individual post and that'll be the new section done. Back in the loader once more. Right. Lift the bucket up, tilt it back, and we'll go fetch the Kubota. This may take a while. We're approaching Little Boar now. We'll go park this up, grab the Kubota and head back out the paddock. I might be back later on to do a special little video. Uh, you never know. Because for those who don't know, 
I wrote a book. Um, I tried making a video about it in November before the Erevel bushfire, but going over the editing footage last night, it's not quite up to snuff. Uh, so, I'm thinking after I finish recording this video, I might do another take on that and begin filming a shorter series on the official Afan Pildamara YouTube channel, link in the description. This loader may or may not get its own starring role in one of these videos. We'll just wait and see. For now, here's the Kubota. This is like me working a Satex side panel right here. I push it down. And shut it off. And switch off that isolator. So the plan from here is um, to try hard not get the wind in my face. Um, sorry if it comes through on the video there, but the plan from here now is to make a gate. Um, I guess Bindi Sue will be the camera dog. We'll pop this down somewhere where it won't get um, flung over by the wind and we'll stick it down on time lapse. And I do believe that will call it for the video here because the GoPro's going flat, so unless anything else happens, uh, we'll see you next time.